it's early September here on the farm and we got ourselves a bit of a problem see we haven't gotten our firewood yet normally we buy the stuff but this summer has been just too expensive to do that good news is I know exactly where to go get firewood but we need something to haul it and well you see our, our Dodge Tradesman here it's a 74 it died last winter and we were going to fix up the 73 Sportsman motorhome to haul the trailer and do that. But it's not being cooperative. And the moldy Jeep, it's not being cooperative. And the, the, you know, the Chevy Cube van over there, that's not being cooperative. So I'm going to see if I can't fix this guy. now 2012 so we're looking at about 38 years worth of repairs by various owners and uh, that tends to lead to some rather interesting situations and uh, you know it really needs rewired except that when you go through this van with all the problems it has it really needs torn down to the frame so you can start over. For the sake of this fall and maybe winter, we're going to see if we can't get this baby going. We lost spark. We tried a couple of different coils, hooking them up. Had a Mallory distributor and, and coil on it, but we couldn't get any spark no matter what coil we used. And we, I, I checked it out here a couple days ago and it doesn't matter what coil you hook up to it, it just doesn't work. So we've decided it is the Mallory coil that is not sending the signal to the coil so that it will spark. So we got ourselves a stock distributor out of the rack. Actually, we had it laying around. It's a fairly simple thing. We got this steel wheel here with, with eight little spokes on it. This has a permanent magnet inside of a coil of wire. And what happens is this goes around. When these little teeth match up with the permanent magnet, it generates a shift in the magnetic field inside this coil. Generates an electrical signal which goes to this guy, which is, you know, just a basic igni ignition module. We got a ballast resistor here that was hooked right there. It's a single resistor one. I can't use it because this particular model needs a double resistor. Normally these things are mounted up on the firewall, but you saw what the firewall looked like. It's There's just no room up there. So I built myself a bracket. Fits in here. At least it should. Yeah, just like that. Put this bolt through here. Now we just need a couple bolt holes for this guy. Mount it over here. Sort of like that. Because I'm pretty sure the case needs to be grounded to work. But you know, having this here, the, the ballast resistor mounted on this part here, and the coil here, and the distributor there, get all the ignition wires right within about 12 inches of each other. So you don't have wires just, you know, running all over the place. Keeps it all nice and tidy. So, got my Sharpie and mark here. Now I just got to drill a couple holes, put some screws in, and that will be mounted. 